Welcome to SelfDiscoveryMedia.com, where we discover the communities that are making a difference in the lives of others. Our self-discovery is something we are all making on our life's journey. Here you will find the people that will be your guidance, that will be your inspiration, that will be there for you in support on your journey of life. Do enjoy. Our next show is... Hello. My name is Sarah Troy from selfdiscoverymedia.com. The world right now is most certainly in a redirection. It's in a conscious risingness. It's beautiful to see, but this disruption is something that's clearing out the old and inviting the new. But is it so new? The consciousness that we seek, the wisdom that we are open to receive, has been there always, but we lost our way as human beings. We forgot to connect to the universal energy. We forgot to connect to our hearts and our souls. We forgot to listen to our intuitive guts. And instead we became slaves to the expectations of life and what is important and what we should seek and who we should be. Instead of honoring the gift of who we really are, and what we are here to do. Through the last eight years, I've had the wonderful opportunity of interviewing people from around the world who are making a difference in the lives of others. Some extraordinary stories have been told, but the thing in common is this. They found their strength, their courage, their abilities, and despite what they had to go through, whether it was just a kiss on the brow or a cosmic two by four, they redirect it by going through the process to become who they are today. And who they are today are givers, sharers, inspirers, igniters, people that are out there illuminating people into being. The universe right now is shaking us up to wake us up for us to step up and change it up. That's the invitation right now. You see, you cannot have clarity. You cannot have a new path. You cannot embrace nutrition if there is contamination inside. So that shake up and wake up is waking us up to everything that we've been doing that is wrong. We lost our way. We placed importance on the wrong things. We stopped caring for what humanity is really here to do. We stopped loving. We fed hate. We fed greed. We fed opulence. We fed self-importance. And we forgot the most important thing, our heart, our souls, and our spirits, and the importance of raising that frequency, that vibration, into love. We are the love we seek. We are the peace we seek. We are the answers to the problems. As we point our fingers at everyone else, there's three pointing back at us, saying, what are you doing about it? Have you stepped into self-love? Have you stepped into self-worthiness? Are you still chasing the illusion of what others think you should be? Or have you discovered your own beautiful, gifted instrument, learned to play it and brought it to the orchestra of life? That is what we're invited to do. You see, life is about service, not servitude. And we've become very, very much servants of those expectations of how to live and what is important. But when we step into service, giving service lovingly, kindly, caringly to one another, then we truly actually understand what it's all about, what life is all about, what love is all about, what consciousness is all about, and how raising that consciousness in the world can bring us all together. You see, it's very, very important that we do come together. Coming together is the energy that we need. It's the orchestra that we need. You see, if each one of us bring our instrument to that orchestra, and we have a conductor that knows how to utilize the best out of everybody, 
from triangle right to the soloist on the, on the violin. And we play that music that resonates out as a ripple effect and invitation of inspiration and illumination to others. We pick ourselves up and we guide people forward on a frequency where they desire and seek the love that lies within them so they can share it without. But that requires us to participate. It requires us to go in and look at what's not working. It requires us to step up. You see, we've been using our heads for too long, just our heads. You see, part of it is the CPU. It, it's what governs the whole body is how it works, right? The other part is programming. It's programming of this lifetime. It's programming of ancestral lifetime and past lifetimes. And that programming is what the problem is at the present moment. We're not listening to our gut instincts, to our source knowledge. We're not resonating it with the heart. We're not listening to the spirit. We've just got this chatter in our heads all the time, and it's misleading us. It's not showing us the way. So when you have that gut feeling, oh, I don't know why I feel this way, but I do, that is source talking to you, to your soul, talking to your instincts, and allow it to resonate with your heart. And when it resonates with your heart in truth, it will then go to your spirit into action and will extract from your mind what your mind needs to know when it needs to know it. This in the head is knowledge. The soul, heart, and spirit is wisdom. We need to tap into the wisdom to understand the knowledge. Knowledge for knowledge's sake is empty. How do we apply it? Where do we apply it? Why do we apply it? But when you tap into that soul intuition, that heart resonance and that spirit action, and we know what we need to know when we need to know it, then we can truly be productive, creative, solutional. Because we are allowing the universe to come through us, to use us as a conduit, to channel through us, to extract all that knowledge that's in the brain, in the memory banks, in the programming, and how to use it in a way that will be beneficial for everyone that we serve. We've got trapped in our heads with this doctrine that more is more. We need the bigger house, the better car, the Armani suit, the self-importance. How many followers do I have? Do I look like the Cardassians? Am I rich? And we think that that is importance. Instead, it leaves us empty. So we understand that simplicity is really where the wealth is. The abundance lies within the enrichment of your soul, your heart, your spirit. The abundance shared is when that spirit and soul and wisdom and knowledge come together. We realize when we're here in that core belief, in that soul and the heart and spirit alliance that what we're here to do, we're here to be that instrument, to join that orchestra, to make that difference. We're here to raise that vibration, raise that frequency. We're here to raise the consciousness. You see, the planet needs that right now. We are not only damaging the planet on it, in it, but vibrationally, we're shattering it. And Mother Nature and this world just cannot take it anymore. It can't take the anger. It can't take the hate. It can't take the discontent. It cannot take it that those that are switched off to the soul, the heart, and the spirit. When we decide to rise up, to go in our own self-discovery and look what's within us and how to ignite our heart and our spirit and our soul and to listen to it and let it guide us and show us our path, our meaningful purpose. And then we decide to step into it. Then we realize that we are part of the solution. In that love, in that exuberance, in that passion, in that conviction, we bring our creativity and it becomes part of the puzzle that we need to put together. We are the solution, collectively, individually. See, it's about you individually finding your instrument, your gift, 
your meaningful purpose and bringing it to the collective orchestra because we are meant to be a unit. We are meant to come together. One voice can sound beautiful. A choir of voices in harmony resonates and lifts out and embraces us all. So find your gift. Ignite your spirit. Lift yourself up. As I've said, the universe is here to shake us up, to wake us up, to step us up, and to change it up. We're being shaken, we're being woken, and we know we need to step up. So be willing to go in in order to live out. Be willing to ignite that consciousness, that awareness. The planet needs you. Humanity needs you. All life forms on this planet need a higher consciousness from the human race. Be a human being, not just a human doing. We are the solution. And it's actually wondrous. It's exciting these times. We're getting rid of what does not serve. We're changing systems. We're raising that consciousness. We're being less judgmental and unforgiving and letting go of the hate and the discontent. And we're stepping into that kindness and caring and lovingness and realizing it's a place that warms you. It's a place that gives you that deep breath. It's a place that you share out with everyone. And then you understand the enrichment of it, the abundance of it, and how in that exuberance energy shared with others literally lifts us all up. So in this transition, this redirection, this invitation to change, to step up, to make self-discovery, to ignite your own heart, soul, and spirit. Please open your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit, and let the divine guide you. It doesn't matter what faith you are. It's about the universal energy, the energy of us collectively coming together with one agenda, simply love. Love of self, love of what we do, love of our fellow man, love and respect and gratitude of our planet and all beings on it, love of the energy that comes from the universe. It's there waiting for us. So are you going to embrace it? I do hope so. And I do hope you listen to all these wonderful people like Alison Goldwyn, who I started Let's Get Sync series with her and brought some wonderful people who are about the change, you know, the, the mental climate change, to bring about the change of climate. You see, until we change our minds, we can't change anything else. And we need to change our minds. So many wonderful people here who have put their foot forward. They have become part of the solution. They have stepped up. They've changed it up, and they're helping others change it up. You're not alone. I have 2,500 shows here of people who will help you do that. And realize we need every one of you. We need every one of you to be the love that we all seek. This is Sarah Troy, selfdiscoverymedia.com and selfdiscoverycommunity.org. And I really do hope that you are willing to step into exploration, to wondrousness, to self-discovery, and to open up your heart, your spirit, and your soul and let love in. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed the show. We look forward to bringing you more shows. Please go to selfdiscoverymedia.com slash shows and you will see the incredible lineup of genres and shows that we have for you. We are here to make a difference in your life. Thank you for listening.